Hello, I'm JW. Today we're going to have a look at an item which has been sent in, and it's actually a plug. Plug there with the uh, usual pins on the back and the fuse in it, which rather oddly on this one is located on the back. And uh, before we look at the front of it, it's generally the case in the UK that socket outlets have switches on them, and uh, many people in other countries find this to be an absolutely ridiculous thing, because after all you can just switch the thing off by unplugging. You can get unswitched sockets in the UK, but they're fairly unpopular. The vast majority generally do have switches on them. However, for the circumstances where they do not, you can of course get one of these, which is a plug with a switch on the front of it. So there you go, you can plug it in and then turn it on and off from that switch there, rather than having the uh, socket changed to one that has a switch on it. Now uh, this one has actually failed internally in some fashion, so we'll take this apart and see what's inside. But uh, yeah, you don't see these very often even here, because say most uh, sockets have switches on, and uh, even if they don't, these aren't a particularly uh, popular thing either. Now this thing apparently was connected to an aquarium pump, so a pretty uh, small load in the scheme of things, although it is an inductive load of course, but there's no particular reason why that should have caused it to fail. But uh, nevertheless it's uh, got the uh, standard pins on the back here, the earth pin obviously being larger, line and neutral, and this actually has coloured sleeving as well on the pins there, so brown for line and blue for neutral as well. A fuse holder on the back there which is slightly unusual because they're normally inside the plug, so on this one we can just uh, pry that out without unscrewing it. So there it is, and uh, this one has a 5 amp fuse inside, so made by Jojo, which is a brand used on extension leads of some kind, BS3062 as you'd expect, so uh, probably nothing wrong with that. Unlikely this person actually made these, it's probably just a rebranded from some other manufacturer as commonly was the case, and still is in, in some cases. And on the front there we've got this rather large switch there with a little neon indicator in the front. So uh, let's uh, open this up anyway and see what we've got there. Rather unusual again, this has two screws, one on each opposing corner there, Generally it's just a single screw through the middle and the fuse being uh, located inside, but we'll uh, see what we have on this one. So this is inside the lid, and um, we can see the neon indicator, or what's left of it, has gone completely black. This is fairly common with the very small ones, uh, particularly when they run at a fairly high current to make them brighter. Basically it all goes black inside as the electrodes uh, sort of sputter off and uh, turn it dark inside, so though it probably still glows, you won't actually have to see it because it's been darkened inside there. A little tiny resistor there to obviously limit the current through it, but apparently not to a uh, sensible value in this case. And then we've got uh, two contacts here, one which is that spring affair there, and then the other one is just this little springy tab of metal there, which will uh, press onto things on this side just to uh, enable it to illuminate when the power is connected. So. That there she goes over there, so one of them is going to press on the top of the terminal here, and that's the neutral as it says there, and then that little tab will press onto this block of metal here, which will be the switched line presumably. The actual switch part is not in the lid, it's just operated by these two pins here, and then this here is the actual switching part. Now here's the other part here, and we've got the three connections here for the line, neutral and earth. So neutral's here at the bottom, which we saw pressed onto one of the contacts there. This is the line, the wire would actually go in the side there, and then this is the screw which goes in from the top. It's actually come out to just work loose in the transit there. And then earth over the top here. Earth goes straight through to the pin, and as is often the case with these plugs, the pin is totally loose and can be taken out. And neutral. Again, pretty much the same deal, just uh, falls out there. And that's very, very common on uh, modern plugs. And the line, of course, is fixed because, of course, this is switched. So the line pin here actually comes in at the bottom there through that riveted connection through the switch mechanism we've got here. And that would then all come across to the actual terminal there where you would connect the uh, outgoing load to. Flex grip, just a little bar with the two screws through into the plastic. So then the question is, what's actually wrong with this? Well, uh, the symptom was it just doesn't work, so it's got to be either the switch here or some connection between, or maybe just the fuse has busted, because of course uh, plugs in the UK have a fuse in, 
there to disconnect if things go wrong. So just to get British Telecom on the situation here, and uh, if we just connect these disgusting probes together, then it should make a despicable noise as well. So let's just check the fuse first of all, because that's fairly obvious. Uh, well, no problem there, so uh, that seems absolutely fine. We'll just put that fuse back in, of course, to uh, bridge between the two parts, like that. Should put this in, by the way, if you uh, actually leave them out like this and put it into a metal face socket. This can actually arc and uh, cause a short circuit onto the earthed metal face of the outlet. But uh, obviously there's no outlet here. Now the switch here, we can see the contacts just moving inside there. So the actual mechanism appears to be working. That should be the on position. Now do we have any continuity between here and here? Well, it seems that we do. And that should be in the off position there. Yeah, which it is. However, if we have a look down inside there, we can see that those contacts are basically completely blackened. They should generally be a fairly silvery colour, so it's fairly likely that there's some kind of carbon build-up or some kind of arcing has gone on there. So although they're making contacts at the moment, they presumably weren't doing when the piece of equipment was attached. And so yeah, we just sort of scrape a bit of that uh, blackness off of there and reveal the stuff underneath. And it won't take a lot between those two to uh, prevent them from working. And bearing in mind, this is with that uh, aquarium pump, which is basically a little transformer and a set of bellows. It's uh, a fairly inductive load, so some arcing there was almost inevitable. So it's very likely it's one of these things that's just gone intermittent because sometimes it'll make a connection through and other times it won't. The other thing, of course, if you get a bit of dirt or something just stuck in there, then that's going to be enough to prevent it working as well. Because again, this is completely open in here. There's no uh, real protection against dust or whatever there. And so even with the lid on, you've got this big hole where the flex goes in and obviously dirt and things can get around the edges. So though it seems to have basic continuity on uh, this uh, very low voltage here, that of course isn't particularly conclusive. I say certainly the amount of blackening on those terminals there would suggest it's been uh, arcing quite a bit. And the final question on this is who actually manufactured this because there's no name of any manufacturer on this. It's got 30 amps 250 volts uh, BS3063-A which is the standard for the plug. And we've also got BS5733 which is for general electrical accessories I believe which is probably referring to the switch part there fused on the front which again is fairly unusual to see now because all of these plugs have been fused since 1947. The older ones generally had fused on because uh, plugs previously were not fused and that would alert people to the fact that if something's not working there is actually a fuse inside but so you don't tend to see that much now. And then the other thing we've got is this symbol here this uh, three leaf device and uh, the same thing on the front here. So there's that thing and apart from that no other name whatsoever. So uh, if anybody knows what this uh, three-pronged deal is, then uh, please put it in the comments below. It has a registered trademark symbol. But say other than that, no actual name of who manufactures this thing or manufactured, because uh, say this may well be a fairly old item. So thanks for sending that one in, and uh, until next time, thanks for watching.